Einstein has spent years tracking them all down. Her books and films are known around the world and today she's looking at things that go squish in the night. Speaking as a naturalist, I'm rather fond of garden snails. Apart from eating leaves, they do some quite interesting things, actually. There are times, though, speaking as a gardener, when I really have to put my foot down, and I mean that literally, to try and get rid of these garden pests, no matter how interesting they are. But I have a rather unusual ally in my fight against garden snails, and you won't believe this, but it's a predatory snail that feeds on, amongst other things, the common or garden snail. And here's the snail that gardeners can call their friend. You can identify it by its rather flattened shell. The introduced garden snail, of course, has quite a round shell. If you live in the eastern part of Australia, you're quite likely to find one or two of these useful little native snails in some damp part of your garden. You'll never find them climbing up on garden plants, though. They're strictly non-vegetarian. We're going to show you a confrontation between one of these flesh-eating monsters and an innocent garden snail on its way to eat someone's seedlings. And I know whose side you'll be on. In this case, the native snail is an albino, which makes it easy to tell one from the other. Here it is, sailing along on the lookout for a victim. And it's found one. predator senses its prey. The garden snail is so unaware of the danger, it tries to climb up on the enemy's back. The predator strikes. All the garden snail can do is blow bubbles and pretend this just isn't happening. predator strikes again and it's goodbye garden snail. Inside the shell the soft flesh is being ripped apart by the predator's dagger-like teeth. And if you didn't know snails had teeth, I can tell you that even the ordinary garden snail has thousands of them. But they're tiny compared to the fangs this one has. A meal can take all night and all next day. Nothing's left but the empty shell. Well, that's one garden snail I won't have to step on. Unfortunately, there aren't many of those predatory snails about to help us. But Don, you can tell us other ways of getting rid of these little pests, can't you?